Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sonal from Sosa Candles. Well, uh, today's video is going to be super duper interesting because we're in my workspace and uh, we're going to make some candles. But uh, before that, I just wanted to say thanks for everyone that is uh, you know purchased our ebooks and keep on purchasing it makes me so great i mean i feel so so grateful and honored of course that i've been able to help so many people with their candle making pursuits and uh, you know there's always this possibility that i may not end up explaining everything in detail in uh, you know the videos that i do i mean i try my best and uh, you know i might like sort of uh, miss out on one or two things but uh, this ebook when i started writing it I tried I detailed it to the level where you know there's like no guesswork required at all and everything's like so lucid so simple and understandable and uh, I'm super duper happy to hear from you all that you all are enjoying reading the ebook and you all are able to make uh, you know uh, candles in the best uh, efficient way and that uh, you know it's helping you all a lot so thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to serve you um, the second thing is uh, candles from my nostalgia collection have been a big hit ever since I launched them in November. So it just gives me, you know, a feeling of great pride because, uh, you know, you all keep buying and uh, for all the customers that keep buying and keep coming back uh, again to buy, you know, from us. Thanks a lot. Uh, you have no idea how much uh, it means to me and it means to our business as well. So, yeah. Uh, just coming back to the nostalgia collection see as you can see in the background i've always got uh, you know sufficient inventory to manage and i plan my inventory in the most efficient way uh, at least i would like to think <laughs> that way uh, however uh, our uh, nostalgia collection has been selling out really really fast and uh, today we've got an order uh, for about 20 candles five of each from our nostalgia collection um, sadly i don't have the inventory and i just thought of i'll, I'll replenish the inventory i'll make these candles and i'll send it that's when I clicked, you know, why not just vlog about it because uh, this is something I've been planning to and I've been like thinking and pondering over it for a very long time to sort of, you know, give you all a sneak peek of how it all uh, happens and uh, how all the magic is created at Sosa. So today is like that uh, happy day that I'm able to create videos about, I mean, that I'm able to vlog about uh, how I make candles and how everything is prepped from start to finish so yeah. so of course i have a lot of work to do so let us quickly start uh, with the video so let's begin by getting our white jars so i've stored them here i'm going to quickly pick these one by one Okay, so now we are going to start with the process and I'll just uh, start by prepping everything quickly. So this is uh, my wax melting machine that I use to melt my wax. Um, it is currently off. So I'm going to quickly start it so that the wax can start melting. Until then I'll prep my jars. So until the wax melts, I'm going to start prepping my jars so that, uh, you know, once the wax is completely melted and ready, I'll have these ready for pour. So let's quickly uh, prep the jars.
so it's almost evening but i really wanted to make it and hence uh, i thought of shooting it what i've used here is uh, an alcohol spray isopropyl alcohol um it really just helps uh, in uh, cleaning all the jars although they say that you know our jars are all clean and stuff i just prefer to uh, make sure to clean it once more to get rid of any dirt and debris that is clogging the jar i mean you know that's stuck around as well I love the squeaky sound that it makes. So as you can see here, all our jars are extremely clean now and ready to be poured. The next step is to prepare the wicks. So I'm first going to start by applying the wick stickers to the wicks. This will help me keep my jars intact. I mean, this will help me keep my uh, wicks intact uh, to the jar. And uh, even when I pour the wax, it will not move. So yeah, that is why you need a wick sticker. All these things are already available on our website. You can always scan through our uh, site to see if you need anything. And you can buy it from there directly. So these are about 20, so I'm just going to um, remove about 20 wick stickers.
so I've uh, cleaned my jars I have also put my wicks in the uh, wick stickers now all I have to do is place this inside of the jars and then my jars will be like 100% ready and uh, I'll also quickly check the progress on the wax to see how uh, how much it has melted accordingly to despite my speed so let's quickly check that As you can see there is um, still a lot of wax um, yet to melt so I'm just going to leave it and uh, we're going to come back to it after a while. Okay so now I'm going to start by uh, putting the wicks uh, into the jars. Using uh, a steel, steel straw really helps because uh, it just uh, takes care of all the accuracy and then you don't get flimsy. All the jars are ready for pouring. So I've uh, finished, uh, you know, cleaning my jars, wicking my jars, everything's like all set and ready. I'm just waiting on the wax. Um, because the temperature, you know, tends to drop really quickly nowadays, 
you know all thanks to winter it's uh, it's been a bit of a challenge you know when you are warming it up it takes a while to warm up but as soon as you warmed it up it starts to solidify also really really quickly so then uh, i really need to create this uh, warm environment within you know all uh, my wax uh, stays uh, warm for longer um, if you see all my windows are closed only because uh, you know there's just so much cold wind blowing uh, and you don't want drafts at all because then your wax will again start solidifying really really fast so i've just kept all my doors and windows closed now uh, all we are waiting for is uh, the wax um in the meantime i just wanted to discuss a few of my videos that i've been like planning on making for a very very long time but uh, they have been delayed uh, but yeah that's that's how it is but i'm i'm just trying to like uh, get back on my editing as well to uh, make sure that all the videos that i've promised are uh, released on time so yeah that's there and uh, i've also launched a lot of things on the website you know from uh, the point of view of uh, candle making raw materials and i also restocked a lot of candles as well they went out of stock uh, as soon as i was on holidays so yeah i worked on restocking them as well there is this valentines coming so i have got this valentines collection out as well you all can shop uh, and make sure that you all uh, you know shop uh, beforehand so so my wax uh, is still melting and uh, because it's like really really cold uh, it tends to take a while during the winter season i have made sure to create a good environment a very ventilated environment as well but uh, today because it's really really cold and uh, tends to solidify the wax faster if, if you can see in the background i've closed all my windows uh, there's a lot of construction that keeps happening in the background you know just opposite my building there's a new building getting constructed and uh, oh my god it's been a nightmare <laughs> so I, I i try and see if i can you know shoot content uh, during the day but uh, if it's too noisy then i skip it and i try and shoot content during the night itself because you know it's really really calm and then i can talk and uh, because i have this low voice i'm always conscious whether or not i'm audible so yeah these are like my small small shenanigans of uh, trying to like shoot content in a noisy environment uh, apart from that uh, i've uh, restocked all the candles in terms of our valentines collection last uh, year you know there was uh, like a long season rush and then so many of the orders got delayed most of them uh, were delivered on time but a few of them were obviously delayed because those were like all last minute orders and uh, there's only so much i can control when it comes to ordering um, once the products leave uh, my uh, workspace then it's all in the hands of uh, the shipping carrier so i, I do try and pick uh, uh, the expedited shipping all the time but sometimes you know it's just beyond my control so i don't want any of those instances happening this time and uh, just want to sort of let you all know to so that you know you all can order beforehand and it reaches it reaches you all uh, before uh, valentines itself um speaking about valentines i've been working on a special collection wherein you all get uh, complete uh, freedom of uh, customizing your candle and even you know write a few i mean even write small notes on the candle that's like personalized uh, as per you um you know any moment that you want to celebrate or any special occasion as well so that is still in the works and i'm in the last stages of it so i'm just like doing some testing and stuff and uh, it should be out soon i really wanted to launch it uh, during the valentines but uh, there have been some uh, hiccups and uh, it has gotten delayed but nonetheless uh, it will be launched really really soon i wanted to sort of talk about it because uh, it's been in the works for a very long time and sometimes you know when you're handling so many things you tend to sort of lose focus on uh, the important ones so yeah i've i've made uh, like a list uh, of things that are really really important and that i want to work on in 2024 so like i said uh, you know so i felt like even though i'm doing such valuable work 
um, there are some things that I tend to miss out and uh, hence uh, you know I have worked on using all the principles that I worked and you know that that uh, helped me when I was uh, in my job as well and uh, I'm just trying to sort of prioritize I'm just trying to plan things so that uh, I'm able to uh, finish off things and not miss them out uh, even in terms of uh, the business last year um, there were some important events that I completely missed out only because uh, you know uh, I could not plan it well so yeah I'm just working on planning and executing them well this year and just making sure that all the collections are uh, available ahead of time for you all to make a purchase um, all the candles are restocked ahead of time you know we don't really wait on uh, all the candles to go out of stock and then start making them so i've just been working on so many things um there i, I mean you know there's so many people that reached out to me and uh, they wanted uh, you know these candle making nuggets in the form of uh, short form content so i have started uh, making my candle uh, making word of the day uh, i mean it's just my way to try and uh, just innovate it a bit so because you're last i am creating short form videos wherein i'm explaining uh, small small concepts uh, in uh, bite sized uh, form so please go ahead and watch it and if there is anything let me know and you know even while you're commuting and stuff you can always just use a headphone or something and becomes like really real personal and you can consume the content that is because i remember the days when i used to work um, I had a one-way commute for about two, two and a half hours and the traffic in Mumbai is uh, terrific so you tend to get stuck and uh, there's always some of the other thing that is getting built whether it is metro or you know a flyover so you're always going to get stuck one way or the another so I'd, I'd get uh, my earphones and I'd carry my books and stuff so that uh, you know I can sort of try and make uh, the best use of my commute time as well. Now that I know that um, the wax is going to take a while, I'm just going to make myself uh, a cup of coffee because uh, it's already evening and I'm really craving for a cup of coffee. So yeah, let's quickly go. So my coffee is ready. I'm just going to relish my coffee until the wax uh, melts. Hi guys, welcome back. So I've had my coffee and I've relaxed. The sun has almost set and uh, yeah, I'm still in my workspace. The wax is also melted and uh, our jars are completely ready. So now we are going to go ahead with the pouring. Like I said, uh, there's going to be five of each that we are pouring and hence I've uh, sort of organized some things in the background that way. So yeah, let us quickly start with uh, our pouring process. So as you can see, these are our scents. I'd completely run out of them. So then I had to sort of get new ones. Here I've got my, uh, you know, containers for uh, pouring the fragrance oils. So now I'm going to start by pouring uh, each fragrance oil into one of these beakers. So now I have my beakers, like I told you all. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'm just going to calculate the amount of fragrance oil that I'll need. Um, the intensity that we put is about 10% because all our fragrance oils are uh, very richly vibrant and we don't really have to sort of add a lot. They are very concentrated as well. So, you know, there's this thin line between being uh, aromatic and peaceful and then being irritating. So we are just trying to, uh, you know, maintain it at about 10% because that is what works well for our customers as well. So, yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to calculate the amount of fragrance oil that I'm going to need. Like I said, each candle that I have takes about 80 grams of wax and fragrance oils. So if my proportion is only 10% of 80 grams and I have to multiply it by 5. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to measure out my total wax which is 80 grams uh, per candle by 5 which is about 400 grams. Now from that I need to deduct about 10%. So if I do that into 10% which is about 40 grams. So for each candle I'm going to add about 40 grams of fragrance oils. So now I've got my uh, uh, weighing scale as well. 
so I'll quickly show you all how I'm measuring these off so that I'm not going to sort of add more or less and it has to be sort of perfectly balanced as well so let's quickly start measuring these out now okay so now I have my uh, weighing scale here I'm going to quickly turn it on and the unit of measurement is grams I'll just show you all it's here on the left so my unit of measurement is in grams now I'll quickly put the first container on top and uh, click on tar so that it does not pick the uh, weight of the container and now I'm going to start pouring my fragrance oil Okay, so I'm a little extra. I'll just pour some back. Okay, there's still a little more extra. <laughs> Alright, I think this should be the last time. Okay, just a little. Perfect, so we are at 40. And this is our misty mornings. I'm going to leave it here. Now, I'm going to measure out cozy corner. So, let me put this on tar again. Okay, now I'll start. Okay, so now I'll start adding the fragrance oil. I'm just going a bit slow. Perfect. So that's about this is our cozy corner. I'm just going to add the labels here. Now it's time for the third one. That's about it for our evening walks. Okay, so now it's the last one, which is the bookshop. So I'm just going to put the last beaker here and tar it. That's a little extra. I'll remove it. Okay, perfect. So that is sitting at 50. And now I'll just turn it off. I'll put my uh, bookshop scent as well. Any extra that is here, I'll just wipe it off because uh, I keep using it on a daily basis and I want it to run for a longer time. So these are my scents now. My scents are ready. Now it's time for us to pour our wax. I'm just dividing this into two, two plates so that you know I don't uh, sort of confuse my sense. I 
it's much easier you know when you're pouring uh, if you're pouring you know one candle uh, I mean you know when you're pouring uh, multiple candles of a single scent because then there's no confusion but here since you know I'm preparing like five scents I have to be careful to not you know, mix anything up so that's there my bookshop and evening walks are ready so I'll first start with okay so it's here my bookshop and evening walks are ready so I'll first start with pouring these so what I've done here is if you can see I have segregated the candles as per my sense so like the bookshop which is on the left and evening walks which is on the right I have uh, put those five five candles like this so that I don't mix any of these and it's very much clear for me as well uh, similarly I'm going to place uh, for uh, cozy corner and misty mornings as well so let's quickly do that okay so now we are placing cozy corner almost done and now it's time for misty mornings these were already cleaned and prepped so we don't really have to do anything else here I'll just move the labels a bit as well because there is enough space here so we don't want to confuse anything okay so I'll quickly show you all how it looks so here's the bookshop then there is evening walks then there is cozy corner and then there is misty mornings now let's start getting our wax ready so the way I measured out my fragrance oils similarly I'll measure out my wax beforehand itself so that there is no wastage or so that there is no extra wax that is left over so I'm just going to quickly show you all how I measure out my wax even before you know I start with the process because uh, previously when I used to do it there used to be a little bit of leftovers and uh, you know it's simply wastage so we don't want to do that and we want to plan properly so yeah I'll just show you my current process which really works for me now so as you can see I have about four uh, containers with me four pouring jars now what I'll do is I have my uh, weighing machine here what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by measuring out my wax and uh, you first need to tar it uh, as per our calculation I only need about 360 grams of wax per candle so I'm just going to start pouring now okay so this is about 360 grams and I'm only going to start like pouring one by one so here so this is the first one now we'll get the second one I'm using different containers as you can see so that there is no mixing of any kind of wax I mean no mixing of scents okay this is done and the third one now Okay, so now my wax is here and I've got my fragrance as well. So I'm going to pour it. And we're going to use our stick to stir it. <laughs> One second. I'll just get uh, a placeholder. I use this uh, cork rubber mat because yeah, it helps uh, to keep my container stable. As you 
as you can see here, this is the wax. Almost looks like liquid gold. I'm just gonna stir it slowly. It's about a minute now. Now I'll start with the pouring. to pour really really slowly because then you will not have any kind of air pockets 